is part 83 of C-sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the generic stack collection class. Stack is a generic last in first out collection class that's present in system.collections.generic namespace. The stack collection class is analogous to a stack of plates as you can see here. If you want to add a new plate to the stack of plates, you would place it on top of all the already existing plates and if you want to remove a plate from the stack you'll first remove the one that you have last added. The stack collection class also operates in a similar fashion. The last item to be added to the stack will be the first item to be removed from the stack. Let's understand this with an example. So we'll be using this customer class in this demo. In our main method we are creating five instances of this customer class customer1 through customer5. First, let's create an instance of the stack class. And what type of stack do we want to create? We want to create stack of customers. So the type here is going to be customer. And let's call it stack customers. And to add an item to the stack, we use push method. So what is this push method going to do? It's going to push the item at the top of the stack. At the moment, we don't have any items within the stack. So when this method is invoked, this customer1 object will be the only item within the stack and that will be present at the top of the stack. And what's going to happen if I add another customer object, this customer2 object will now be placed on top of customer1. So which object do we have at the top of the stack right now? Customer2. Let's add other customer objects as well. So customer3, customer4, and customer 5. So which object do we have at the top of the stack right now? Customer 5. And why is that? Because that is the item that is added last to the stack. So these are stacked one over the other. So at this point we have customer 5 object at the top of the stack. And if we were to remove an item from the stack, which item are we going to get back? Customer 5. And why is that? Because that is what is present at the top of the stack. And how do we get an item from the stack? We use pop method for that. And what is this pop method going to do? It's going to remove and return the object that is present at the top of the stack. So let's store this object in a variable of type customer and let's call it C1. And let's say I want to print the ID and the name of the customer. So C1.ID and I want to separate that with a dash. Okay, and what is this pop method going to do? It's going to remove and return the item from the stack. So let's also print the count of the items that are left within the stack. So let's say items left in the stack equals, and how do we get the count of the items within the stack? We can use count property, just like how we have used it with other collection classes. Okay, now let's go ahead and pop out the rest of the objects that we have in the stack. And to speed things up, I have already typed this code. So let me copy and paste it right here. And if you look at this code again, this is very similar to what we have here. It's just that um, we are invoking pop method several times. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what output we get. Look at that. The first item to be removed and returned from the stack is 105, which is customer 5 object. And that is what we have added last to the stack. So stack is last in first out collection. The last item that you add will be the first item that will be removed and returned when you invoke this pop method. And look at what is going to happen to the count. It gets decremented. Why is that? Because pop method removes the item and then returns the item. Okay. Now, is it possible to iterate through all the items within the stack? Absolutely. We can use for each loop with the stack collection class, just like how we used it with other collection classes like list, dictionary, and queue. So let's use a for each loop. So for each customer, C1 in stack customers collection. So let's say I want to print their ID and name and then the total items that are left in the stack. And let's get rid of this code. And let's run this now. And look at that. When we use a for each loop, we still get the items 
in last and first out order and look at the total count it's still five because for each loop only iterates through the items within the stack but it's not going to remove them all right now we know that pop method removes and then returns the item that is present at the top of the stack is it possible to return an item that's present at the top of the stack without removing it absolutely we can use a peak method for that purpose now if you remember we have used this peak method with the queue collection class as well and in that case what is that going to do it is going to return the item that is present at the beginning of the queue in a similar fashion when you use peak method with a stack collection class it's going to return the item that is present at the top of the stack without removing it let's look at that in action so let's say customer c1 equals stack customers dot peak and if you look at the intelligence look at what it is going to do it's going to return the object that's present at the top of the stack without removing it and then let's print the ID their name and then the total count alright so let's run this now look at that we get customer 105 and look at the uh, count still 5 because peak method doesn't remove the item from the stack it only returns the item that is present at the top of the stack and how do you check if a specific object exists within the stack we can use contains method just like how we used it with a queue collection class we use it in a similar fashion if the object that you are looking for exists within the stack then this method is going to return true otherwise it's going to return false All right so to insert an item at the top of the stack use push method to remove and return the item that is present at the top of the stack use pop method a for each loop iterates through the items in the stack but will not remove them from the stack the items from the stack are retrieved in last in first out order the last element to be added to the stack will be the first item to be returned from the stack and to check if an item exists in the stack use contains method what's the difference between pop and peak methods pop method removes and returns the item at the top of the stack whereas peak returns the item that is present at the top of the stack without removing it that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day